Today, we're publishing a paper about our recent findings by Cassini on Enceladus. We've detected hydrogen in the plume of Enceladus. That hydrogen is coming from a hydrothermal vent on the seafloor of Enceladus, going out into space through the plume. And so this is a very significant finding because the hydrogen could be a potential source of chemical energy for any microbes that might be in Enceladus's ocean. With this first image, this is a view of the south pole of Enceladus, and the geysers or the jets are coming from those four cracks we nicknamed tiger stripes, those bluish fractures that you can see at the south pole of Enceladus. In the next picture, you can see that these jets are shooting out into space, forming the giant plume around Enceladus. Underneath that icy crust, as Jim said, there's a global ocean. That global ocean sits on top of a rocky core. And some of Cassini's findings pointed to hydrothermal vents, basically hot water coming out after it's been mixed with the rocky core. And this final image shows a thermal map, the temperature of the South Pole. And we can see the warmest temperatures with the yellow and red are right along the tiger stripe fractures. So what's new today? The new finding is finding hydrogen coming from the plume of Enceladus and the fact that it could support potentially microbes with energy on the seafloor of Enceladus. And what makes Europa so incredibly interesting uh, is that it's thought to be engulfed by a global ocean under a thick crust of ice. In fact, it's got twice as much ocean as planet Earth. If we have a salty ocean in contact with a rocky core uh, and energy from a variety of sources, as we just heard from Mary, we have many of the ingredients thought to be necessary for life. In 2014, we used the Hubble and uh, detected evidence of what are probably water vapor plumes emerging from the surface of Europa. That's important because it could be giving us access to subsurface liquid water without having to drill through miles of ice. In 2016, the new observations that we're just publishing, we saw a similar candidate, almost identical in appearance and at the identical location to one of the 2040 candidates. It's very important uh, in an intermittent phenomenon to establish repeatability. It gives us a lot more faith in the observation.